What's up guys, welcome to Key Woodworks. My name is Nick and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this really simple flattening jig for my router so I could flatten this maple slab. I started making this jig by breaking down some scrap plywood I already had in the shop. I had both three quarter and half inch ply, so I began ripping six pieces of the half inch ply for the side rails of the jig. I laminated two of the half inch ply strips together and then threw a few brad nails in them so I didn't have to clamp them. I marked a center line down this strip of ply so I could countersink some screws into the bottom of the rails. This would give me two T-shaped rails that I could clamp in place on each side of the slab. Speaking of slab, there's the maple slab I need to flatten. I wanted to double check these rails and make sure they were going to work out. Everything looks good, so it's time to make the router carriage. I started by ripping three quarter inch ply one and an eighth inch wider than my router base. That accommodates for the half inch ply sides and gives me one eighth inch wiggle room for the router base. I needed to cut out the slot in the jig for the flattening bit. So I traced my router base and then cut out the holes on each side with a hole saw. Then I used a jigsaw to cut a horribly straight line between the two holes. I got out my Craig Foreman to cut some quick pocket holes into the sides of the carriage. And then attach the sides to the base of the carriage with half inch pocket hole screws. This slab wasn't too stable, so I used shims to get rid of that wobble. One last double check of the rails and carriage before I realized I should probably add a stop to this thing. So I used some CA glue and some activator and just stuck it on. Paste wax is always a good idea for smooth motion, so I rub some onto the top side of the router carriage for a smooth glide. And here it is in action. I'd like to take a few seconds to thank the sponsor of this video, Bits and Bits Company. They were nice enough to send me out this monster flattening bit to make my flattening dreams come true. I'll have links in the description to Bits and Bits and this flattening bit that I used in the video. Thanks again for the bit. And that's that, really quick, really simple flattening jig. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, see you later.